we have here a project which is defined with uh, several phases. We have here a typical uh, CRM project. It's an IT system that will help customer relation management. So in this company, they've decided to introduce a new uh, CRM to help people at support, at sales, and for marketing also. For this, we go through the usual phases, which are selection of a system, then the system integration, then a test phase, and in the end, the in-production uh, phase. What I want to show you here is how we are going to work with WBS to be able to to do breakdowns of the work structures. For this, we are in tasks here. And as you can see, what we would like is to number those different phases. So for that, I will go into project. And in project, if I look here into the properties, you will find what is called WBS. So we will define it the way we want. I will select to define a code. I will add a prefix to the code. Since the project is the CRM project, I will add the prefix CRM. And then for each level, I will define a certain sequence. For this, I will take numbers and the length, I will say here, I limit it to two and the separator will be a point. And this is for the level one. I will do the same for the, the level 2, which will also be composed of numbers, and the number of numbers of digits will be limited to 2 as well. So for this project, I will also define the level 3, and exactly the same numbered, ordered, and limited to 2 digits. Now we are going to see what will be applied to, to what we, we do. So maybe I could add here into the prefix something like a, a dash. You see? So here they are giving you a first representation of what it could be. So we are going to say, OK, that we want to generate WBS code for new tasks as well. And we will verify the uniqueness of a new WBS code. Just remember that WBS is here to identify in a unique manner a certain tasks. OK, let's go. So the numbering occurred, but of course we don't see anything. So I'm going to add now the column, which is dealing with uh, WBS. So I go into insert a column. And here I get a will list of additional columns I could get. So I go down to WBS. Click on WBS. And here we have our numbering of the different phases in our project. So as you can see, here we have the phase one, which is the general project in itself. Phase two, which is here below. Phase three, phase four and phase six. Phase five is the training and phase seven is not really a phase. It's the closing of the project. Now, as you can see, there were tasks that were defined in between. So let's see what happened with them. So here you see that my phase two is composed of four different subtasks. 
For example, I have here requirements, then solution evaluation, solution choice, and then system purchase in itself. I have also other phases that you can split down. Here for the system integration you have server installation, application installation, and even the test you have two phases, two tasks in the test, the user interface and the functional tests. And as well we can see here production. We have in itself the in production and then the production run of two weeks and then the closing. So with all that you see the different phases which are defined here in this phase and you can see here on the WBS the numbering which really identifies in a unique manner each task. So and you can recognize our way to define it with the prefix, the separator and then on two digits the numbers we wanted to put. Of course you could also put letters, alphanumerical things so there are different ways, but this is one way by which a task can be reported to its project by the prefix and then with the numbering you identify in a unique way each task. That was it. Till the next example. See you.